In her role as Director of Government Affairs for the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, Elizabeth combines her passion for the causes of world peace, animal rights, and health issues. First of all, thank you both for promoting the vegan diet. And what do you feel, um, why do you feel PCRM is important? PCRM is really the, the professional voice that's advancing this. It's just incredible um, that we have all of these physicians who are willing to come to Washington to speak about the, the dietary issues and to promote them. It's just amazing that PCRM has dedicated the last 25 years of its existence to promoting health for people that doesn't cost so much. You know, when you look at how you can reverse type 2 diabetes using a plant-based diet, that just takes thousands of dollars out of people's pockets every single year. This is a free way to control things and it's a very empowering thing for, for people to be following. It's a win-win-win situation. It's good for the environment, it's good for people, it's good for animals. At the government level, Elizabeth is ideally placed to help influence and transform domestic and international policies across a range of health, social environmental, and monetary reform agendas. She has been an advisor to the President of the 63rd United Nations General Assembly and currently serves as a board director of a number of international organizations and an advisor for several education and community building initiatives in East Africa. We asked Elizabeth about some of the ongoing projects of the PCRM Legislative Fund. Um, we've been working a lot on child nutrition. Um, we look at um, the role of the government policies in the food availability and the nutrition programs that there are. So we're really trying to get um, plant-based options onto every school lunch line so that children really have a chance with their health. And obviously we know that plant-based options are the way forward for not only for health but for animal welfare and for the environment too. And we're starting a new campaign which is around agricultural policy of the United States. And we're trying to stop the subsidies which go to directly to meat and dairy, um, enabling factory farms to be economically viable. PCRM's reports on agriculture and health policies and conflict, how food subsidies tax our health, highlights the rift between the government's own dietary and nutrition guidelines and the direction of its spending on agricultural food subsidies. Together with PCRM's founding president, Vegan Shining World Compassion Award laureate, Dr. Neil Bernard, Elizabeth works to realign the government's policies on agricultural subsidies with its policies on health and nutrition to redirect federal funding away from harmful meat and dairy products in favor of more health-giving fruit and vegetable production. PCRM itself has been dealing with a number of research studies where we're testing and proving the benefits of a vegetarian and specifically a vegan diet um, for people who want to lose weight or improve diabetes. And I'm happy to say that the work we've been, done, uh, been doing not only helps individuals, but it's been really helping policymakers to see a better way forward. I think the next step is for the Congress to move forward to look at prevention of, uh, of disease, which inevitably leads quite quickly to food, uh, nutrition, diet. It's already happening thanks to the work of Elizabeth and uh, Neil Barnard at uh, PCRM. Inspired by her congressman husband's healthy lifestyle, Elizabeth, a longtime human rights advocate and animal protection champion, made the commitment to become vegan. Since joining PCRM in October 2009, Elizabeth has worked to raise awareness of the health benefits to be derived from a plant-based diet, such as the ability to reverse type 2 diabetes, along with other major health issues. American policy or the government policies really need to be in alignment with what it is that we want to achieve. When we look at the subsidizing of the feed crops, for example, that goes completely contrary to the nutrition guidelines of they're advocating for people to eat. And so when we can change pri the, the priorities and the policies so that they actually align with each other, then we can see a you know, totally different population, a totally different government, a totally different economy as well. The PCRM's report notes that healthful foods such as fruits and vegetables currently receive less than 1% of $16 billion per year allocated by Congress for agricultural subsidies. 
thereby contributing to the nation's soaring medical problems and rising health care costs. When we look at how many billions of dollars are spent on subsidizing unhealthy industries, which in, which in turn then create very unhealthy outcomes in people's bodies that again, government and we in our own individual pockets have to pay to sort out our health problems and the environment problems that incur, it's just a, a, going to be a win-win situation when we really change this. Exactly. I would just add, in America, more th people are eating more than a million animals every hour. And the figures are that much bigger when you look around the rest of the world. So as Elizabeth was saying, there are so many th things to tackle. But the first place that people can, can really have a huge impact is at breakfast. So we're hoping that people will do that, whether it's for the animal's sake or for their own. The PCRM's legislative group is also actively campaigning to ban experiments on chimpanzees. It has promoted the Great Ape Protection and Cost Savings Act, a bill that provides for the phasing out of the use of chimpanzees in invasive research in federally funded and private laboratories. The bill further provides for the release of the more than 500 federally owned chimpanzees to sanctuaries and prohibits the future breeding of chimpanzees for invasive research purposes. Um, we work on trying to get animals out of experiments and having new testing methods come in. Um, we work on this uh, with our physician members and with communities up and down uh, the United States making sure that legislative action is really effective. We asked Elizabeth about the feedback and responses to PCRM's work from legislators. We're having very positive responses. Um, it's, it's been really wonderful. Um, our child nutrition bill was successful. Uh, we have had over 160 members sign on to the Great Ape Protection Act and all of the campaigns are building profile.